Okay, so creating nodes in Katana. We're going to be using the node graph. If we press tab, it brings up your search for your nodes in the list here. I'm going to start by creating a simple merge node. It's the node where we can merge many nodes into one. If I press tab and create a camera, this is a camera create node. So you'll notice that when creating nodes in Katana, they'll actually stick to the mouse before you drop them down. And that allows us to line it up on the grid here. If you don't want the canvas grid, you can press Alt and S, and that gives you free placement of the node. I'm going to place that down. So I can just simply grab the cable and drop it on. I can also press tilde and connect it like so. Just pressing tilde twice there. There's a few other ways to create nodes as well. If I was to create a camera and a material node, I can go up, up and down through this list. I could, just delete that guy, I could uh, marquee select both of these and press M and that'll create a merge node with them both connected for me as well. So what you'll find with looking at a script that's pre-made like this, uh, how Katana works is the data feeds in into inputs, out outputs of nodes and flows on, uh, then goes into the inputs of this merge and then out again. The data's all being merged together. Uh, attributes are being set along the way. So every node is tinkering with attributes and parameters as we go and changing that data, whether it's assigning materials or lighting or setting particular render settings for sampling and resolution and that sort of stuff, and then rendering it out. So at first glance, it looks a lot like uh, what you might see in a nuke script, but the more you play with it, you realise you're recreating a 3D scene like you would in Moto, Maya, Max. Uh, so uh, Katana is really based around building these templates that form 3D scenes that you can pipe different types of geometry, animations, everything through and use these recipes as a, a templated based approach. So with what we've uh, learnt with nodes, you can probably see a little bit of what's going on here, uh, except there's some other nodes that I uh, haven't mentioned yet. So if we press, uh, if we hover over a cable and press the full stop key, that's how we create a dot node to clean up your graph and uh, redirect how things are going. And we can also split off multiple different graphs. We can also press full stop as we're going around to uh, create many dot nodes. You'll see that uh, dots also a selection in the list, so they're very handy for, especially when you get to large graphs. So what I'm going to do from this uh, part of the tutorial is I'm going to start afresh and we're going to render out that pony step by step, uh, creating all the nodes needed and I'm going to talk through what a lot of these do and how they work to get your final result.